Many of you in this room know that we're currently investigating how political campaigners and social media platforms use data analytics to target potential voters with bespoke ads. My office's investigation in this is ongoing, but this much is clear. These data analytic tools can have a significant impact on people's privacy and autonomy and it's important that there's greater and genuine transparency about the use of such techniques. Next year, 220 days from now to be precise, the General Data Protection Regulation comes into direct effect in the UK. And what does the GDPR do? It brings new obligations for organizations, for example, around reporting data breaches and transferring data across borders. But the real change for organizations is understanding the new rights that it brings for consumers and citizens. So GDPR, it's not quite here yet, but I've been asked by the organizers of this event to talk about what comes next. Well, what comes next is the Data Protection Bill. And the Data Protection Bill in the UK will bring, will put in place one of the final pieces of much needed data protection reform. Effective, modern data protection laws with robust safeguards are central to securing the public's trust and confidence in the use of personal information within the digital economy, within the delivery of public services, and the fight against crime. Data protection impact assessments, a requirement in the GDPR, inform a project and they prevent you from driving too far down the wrong road because it's expensive, it's time consuming, and it's reputationally damaging to have to travel backwards and retrofit controls. So absolutely, be creative, be cutting edge, pioneer, but don't sacrifice people's legally insured fundamental rights in the name of innovation. If you haven't started, if you haven't started to prepare for the GDPR, for the data protection reforms, it's not too late. I'm also happy to announce today that on November the 1st, the ICO will launch a dedicated service for small and micro enterprises based around our telephone helpline. So call us, we will help. So thank you very much.